ones, my real ones, my real ones. Run it up with my real ones, run it up with my real ones. Coming up with my real ones, coming up with my real ones. I only fuck with the real ones, real ones, my real ones, real ones. My real ones, my real ones Run it up for my real ones Run it up for my real ones Did you know that becoming a rapper is the number one cause of death amongst young black men? Have you ever wondered why the incarceration and murder of rappers is so accepted and somewhat celebrated amongst today's society. Today, we're going to explore an example of this phenomenon. Welcome to The Rap Trap, hosted by Ayo Conseco. I'm on your ass today. I'm gonna run up a bag today. I'm gonna flip me a pack today. I'm gonna make me a stack today. I'm on your ass today. I'm gonna run up a bag today. I'm gonna flip me a pack today. I'm gonna make me a stack today. I'm on your ass today. I'm gonna run up a bag today. I'm gonna flip me a pack today. I'm gonna make me a stack today. I'm on your ass today. I'm gonna run up a bag today. I'm gonna flip me a pack today. I'm gonna make me a stack today. I'm on your ass, a nigga moving. Nightmare on them street for the Kruger. Extra clips, then with the Ruger. And you know my nigga shooters. All my niggas making boss moves. Nigga broke, but he talk smooth. Sold the soul and it cost you. Run up on me, I off you. All, all of my niggas is hitters, you know we wigs. Welcome back to the Rap Trap. I am Ayo Canseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation and the Men 2 movement. And this is. In hindsight, I damn near forgot. Um, I have been under the weather for the last. Damn near a week now, um, because you can't get tested for the coronavirus till after two weeks or some whatever the fuck they talking about. But I don't think it's that at all. Um, and I got a two day where it, it's I, the pilot countdown here is up. It's crazy, but we talking about the coronavirus on Monday. Um, I want to. I want every state, city to check in. We're gonna go live early on Monday. Uh, because I want everybody to call in so we can actually find out what's going on. I'm hearing about troops being deployed in Philadelphia. Uh, it, the, the streets are shut down in places in Texas. Uh, stores, school, uh, the school is out down here. Starting on Wednesday, school going to be out for like three weeks and shit like that. So it's really not the virus is fucking real. People are taking it serious so that's what we got to worry about not so much the virus but the reaction from people um so i want to talk about that everybody from every city uh, will be allowed to call in it would be a, you're going to have to go to a special place to get a special number but you will be able to call in and give us a, a status update on what's going on in your state uh what city you in and then if you Watch it on the playback. You'll be able to go into the the, uh, the comment section and uh, look in the uh, look at the timestamp, and you'll be able to tell Denver, uh, you know, Michigan. You know what I'm saying? You'll be able to see each state, city that we can talk to and see what's going on with them. Um, but that's that. I got to talk about this debate situation. Um, as much as you know. You know, we didn't have history. Um, some people say that they never had heard about him until I covered it on um, the rap trap. Um, I never had no real beef with the nigga. I was just pointing out a uh, observation, just like I do. I'm just showing y'all the correlation between making the right moves behind the scenes and how it can and knowing how to work social media and how it can take a nigga who maybe not that for real and put him in that spot to win but as far as now this nigga is, he's he up there and there's no I, I'm not I don't not pulling on no nigga nuts on nothing you know what I'm saying like he he got there it's senseless and even speaking on shit um there will be if there's a real situation that go on and he get into it 
I'm always gonna look at it from the side eye like, nah, this nigga got some shit going on because he's not built like that. And it's not nothing on nothing. It's just niggas who know shit can tell when a nigga is on shit. And, and they can tell that. But other than that, I have no issue with a nigga. Um, I try not to cover anything he got going on for the, I don't want no, uh, this nigga baby hater and all that shit like that. And, I've already spoken about the Cam Cole Hart situation. Um, I didn't appreciate that, motherfuckers. I, I bring niggas the only, the only platform to give the other side of that mall incident when they jumped Cam Cole Hart. Just like when Yellow Bees said said he beat up Mo3 uh, manager by himself in a video show. Otherwise, this nigga's telling you they jumped me. That's a big fucking deal. Saying you beat somebody up by yourself and having help and jumping a motherfucker, like, it, that's that's a big fucking deal. So, but motherfucker just want to, you know, it was, I, I didn't appreciate, I'm going to be honest, I, I really didn't appreciate that shit. Um, motherfucker still come in that video and say, ah, oh, y'all both hate me. Ah, nigga, you shouldn't have fucking with him. It's like, if you listen to the interview, you can, like, nigga, but... Niggas, that's what I'm saying. Like, niggas don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about the real shit. They want to... I'm going to go with the big person. I'm going to go with the bigger person. So, I just said, fuck it. I'm backing away from that situation. I'm just not going to touch it no more. Obviously, people don't want no real shit. They just want to rock with that shit. So, it's like, nigga, do your thing. I'm not going to make this my fucking personal fucking nigga life's work. Nigga, no. Nah, Y'all want to rock with that? Y'all rock with that. All good. But in this situation right here, um, I'm riding with I'm riding with who's right. The baby was right. Uh, this motherfucker knew goddamn well what she was doing. She was in the club um, and wanted to see how far she can go. So the motherfucker, like anybody, would be mad as fuck. Like she would be mad as fuck if if she was walking through and the motherfucker put the phone in your face and, and then this this. I put it in his face. Look at this. And that's a fucking come up. That's part of the rap trap. That is part of the rap trap. People seeing that I can get paid by getting beat up by him. Uh, it was a nigga in Mobile. What that nigga name was. Uh, the nigga who... Um, nigga Webby punched him and shit like that. I think Webby had to pay that nigga. You can win like that. You make a motherfucker that uh what the nigga name uh what the what the um big worm in the airport when a motherfucker had spit on him or some shit like that, he picked the he 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 dragged the motherfucker in the airport and he had to pay him off, I think. Like, that's always been a hustle. Getting celebrities to assault you, paparazzi do it all the time. So and and she did exactly what the fuck like a paparazzi person would do, and you know after she put the phone all in his face and shit like that with everything that he already got over his head like the nigga scared in a motherfucker which to be honest any rapper should be nervous than a motherfucker going in these city nowadays like nowadays like that proves that the rap trap is real nigga. Everywhere you go as a rapper, you don't get do what you do. No, nigga, you gotta be on point. Somebody wants to do something to you. Nigga, um, the nigga YP and Lucci. The nigga YP and Lucci just had a show in making. And um uh, when he got there, niggas was um uh, nigga were walking out the back door with guns and shit like that, cause a fight had broke out. That nigga dipped. He left a big ass fight broke out and shit like that. I need to do a video on that shit. But now the nigga, a rapper, of course, it has to be a rapper. A rapper from that city is not saying, you a fuck nigga, bitch, and he ain't got there. He ain't want to come through. What the fuck, you scared, fuck nigga? Scared man, rap nigga, bro. This shit you be talking about, bro. You going to leave, bro. You going to leave with goddamn nigga. You ain't never to fight, fuck nigga. What the fuck you leave for? Like, nigga, what the fuck? But that's what I'm saying. Like, that's part of this shit. And I've spoken on that. Nigga like shit. Nigga. Niggas that's coming to the show is who you claim to be. And on the shit that you say in your song, have you listened to your song, nigga? But I gotta do that video. But, um, 
this is what happens. Like, motherfuckers are ready. That nigga who made, it was probably a GD nigga. What was they at? Oh, Macon, obviously. <laughs> um, that nigga was ready. Ready. To make a diss song. When Shaq Glizzy went to Memphis. The nigga said, we need a feature. Nigga said, you know, no. And shit like that. Nigga ain't no no. Nigga took the chain and just, you know what I mean? Like, niggas is ready. It's niggas in that city for everybody that's in that building. It's a lot of people that came just because the city came. Like, just because there's going to be folks in that bitch. They don't give a fuck why motherfuckers is in here. They just want to be in here because everybody else in here. They don't really fuck with your music like that. Everybody in this bitch ain't no fan of yours. So why wouldn't I be nervous and on point? You have to be. I was just thinking about 2 chains in California. Like, you're a target. You're a target. You got to decide on whether or not to... You know, do I walk through the do I walk through the crowd with my with my chains on or do I, I tuck them in? Do I even wear them motherfuckers? Do I, do I wear my ring because as I'm walking, motherfucker just thinking, how the fuck can I come up? You have to be a lieutenant. We'll get back to the video in just a second. I need to talk to y'all. Look, if you're trying to call in during the Monday Night Live on the Big Facts Podcast every Monday at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, you have to be a lieutenant. You cannot just be a patron. You have to be a lieutenant. I set the Patreon up in such a way that no matter if you are at the bottom of the bottom, you can still see all the unreleased shit. You can still see the early releases, the exclusive series. I know how to spot a nab, how to spot a nab, um, uh, three ways to identify a nothing ass bitch by kids, all this shit. All you have to do is you can pledge a dollar. But if you're trying to actually call in during the live stream, if you're trying to have a say so on what we talk about during the live stream, you have to be a lieutenant. You don't know what kind of relationship they got with the bouncer, with the owner, anything. So now I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm on point and here go a motherfucker. I'm trying to walk through, and you put a goddamn phone in my face. You got the phone in my face. How in the fuck I'm supposed to know who the fuck you is? So immediately, before you can hurt me any further, because it's obviously this is this something finna happen because you got this shit. You put the phone in my face. You didn't hit me in the chin, and now you got it in my face like this. Get the fuck off me! And I keep moving. In some kind of way, not only am I in the wrong, but here you go, you didn't got a lawyer. Because social media then told you. And it's, you know, hey girl, you know you can sue. Ooh, he slapped her. Hold on, hold on. So it ain't no problem for this motherfucker to do all this to me. If that was a nigga, if that was a nigga, no news. The baby slaps the shit out of a motherfucker. Of uh, uh, some disrespectful nigga. The baby puts a uh, the baby puts a fan in his place for assaulting him. You know what I'm saying? Like motherfucker ain't gonna just you know let that shit ride. But because the girl, like yeah, you got you get a whole new set of rules. No, 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 that ain't the move. But that's how they play though, man. And it's what I'm saying, like, how are we moving forward without acknowledging that if you're not putting yourself in harm's way in 2020, dog, motherfuckers at the, at the fucking label don't feel like you're doing your job right. If you're not putting yourself in harm's way in 2020, you're not doing your job right. You should be fighting, getting into it with niggas, at least a verbal argument. You know what I'm saying? You should have to pull a gun. You know, there should be some type of conflict at least once a month. 
if you don't have no conflict in a whole month's time, hey, we need to, hey, what's going on, man? You okay? Hey, I'm cool. Yeah, oh, we're just looking, and uh, it looks like you, um, hey, man, your numbers are plummeting, man. So then they, you know, if you don't get into it, if you ain't, if you ain't making it hot for yourself, if you're not, you know, putting no threats out and, and agitating motherfuckers, then they'll come to you and tell you something that will make you agitate, you know, what's going on and shit like that. Tell you that your numbers are plummeting, tell you something about, you know, losing your your, your, your deal or your, your bonus because something about the streets not being on your side that much. We're looking at, you know, statistics show that they're not, you know, you're not believable in this certain place and shit like that. So, and they'll tell you that about the place, the city that you're about to go to. So you're about to do a goddamn show in Virginia, in uh, in in uh, Norfolk, Norfolk, uh, Virginia, and they'll tell you like, yeah, it looks like the numbers are down. You, you just you really need to um, make sure that you, you do a show that they remember and shit like that. So you and the, this motherfucker are trying to you know go extra, and by going extra and everybody in this bitch not being your fans. Or, you know, you try to do a song with a nigga and you go to the studio and get killed on some bullshit. You know, it's just, it's so many, dog, it's so many ways to get fucked over as an artist, man. And I had a nigga, man, shout out to, uh, shout out to Body, man. Uh, nigga said, watching that rap trap, man, you really... You be making me not want to rap no more. And it's like, I don't I don't be wanting to make artists feel like that. But it's like, dog, these are the dangers of the game. If you're going to rap about gangster shit, if you rap about this gangster shit, which, it, like I said, it's the easiest door. Because you can get in the club fast, you can have a hit fast and shit like that. But it just, it come with an energy that can't be controlled, man. You to my fucking hole doing drugs, killing niggas, and trapping. It's like, what what do you expect from that? Like, what do you expect? And then you you giving it to niggas in in a state, a form of loud music, and they chanting with you. It's like, what spirits are you summoning? You got. And then you got motherfuckers on all kind of different drugs, alcohol. Motherfucker will be inclined to do what you talking about. It's not like motherfuckers are going out to enjoy themselves. Motherfuckers got all kind of shit going on in this building. Baby mama then came to make baby daddy mad. You know, this the side bitch then, then came with another nigga and you know all kind of shit you know these niggas that got in the shootout and and you up this bitch talking about uh nigga hey, fuck nigga uh fuck nigga would have died if I had that chop you know like you, you up this bitch uh fuck nigga shoot it out don't need like call nigga bitches for not killing each other and shit like that and we don't squash beef and that's the part where everybody in the club say the words with you. That's why, that's why I, I really can't, you know, I'm dreading, I'm dreading the uh, fact or the, I don't want to go back to the club. <clears throat> like I said, I'm still a little under the weather, but I don't, I don't want to go back to the club, man, but it's something that you do have to do if you're going to be anywhere in that field and with me dealing with um, artists and really being a promoter. There's no way that I can really promote you if, of course, you know, getting shot out on the show, that's all good and shit like that. But the reason why my prices are still what they are and I can do that is because I don't just promote online, like, connections in real life. And in order to, you know, the more connections I have, the more of an asset I am. And, and that's... I talk about that a lot on Conseco's Rap School. That's why I go, just go to Conseco's Rap School and that's for all my rap niggas. Like, the more resources you have, the more valuable you are. 
um, so I can have my numbers where I want them. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I know people. It's not just me having numbers on social media. Like, I know people in real life. And I can get shit done. But when you're making a new relationship, I actually have to, you actually have to go in that club and make that relationship. Uh, if you meet them, you can meet them up online, but you still want to go and meet them, shake his hand, see him in his element. Hey, man, what's up, my nigga? You don't got to exchange no money when you first meet them. You know what I'm saying? I just want to come see you in your element. Hey, buy him a drink. What you drinking? You know, whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, vibe out with him. But that's what I'm saying. Like, you, when you're in that club, you're supposed to be connected with the energy source. That energy source is negative. It's a negative energy source, but you don't mind plugging up. It's just like, you know, it's like the Wi-Fi. You know what I'm saying? Like you you just you you a phone and you just hooking up to the Wi-Fi. And um But the only way that you can get the code is if you under the influence of something. You have to be intoxicated. You have to have done your summoning, your ritual to get the demon inside of you. Once the demon is inside of you, now you can connect to the Wi-Fi. So now you part of this energy in the club. You're not sober, like, excuse me, excuse me. I, hey man, excuse me, man, excuse me. Ah, oh, God damn. No, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. You know, you walking past motherfucker, the bitches, you know, falling on you, what's wrong? You know, just, you seeing, you seeing all this shit that motherfucker doing and it's just, it looks retarded to you like emo, but they, they in it. They plugged up to the energy source. They plugged up. They, they connected. And if you're not connected, man, it, it's just like, God damn, this music loud in the motherfucker, man. God damn. Y'all can't turn this shit down, man. I'm trying to handle business, but n no, nobody trying to handle business but you. You know what I'm saying? So it's just a different different thing man it's a, it's a whole different thing and that's why the motherfucker that go to the club sober they are more prone to get killed not because they, they'll be more offended when a motherfucker bump them because it's like hey my nigga like you know why the fuck even though a drunk motherfucker kill you too uh but, you know, a motherfucker bump into you like, hey, god damn, my nigga, you can't control yourself? It's like, no, they can't control yourself. They fucking drunk. They fucked up. What the fuck you mean, nigga? And all this shit like this. But when you not plugged up to that energy, I'm telling you, the deem, the spirits are fully conscious in there. The vessels that they in are not conscious, but the demons are so they can recognize you're not plugged up to the energy source. So now when niggas get to fighting, like you might, you will notice your presence when you walk by motherfucker, motherfucker might give you a, the, the, a nasty look. Like, oh, these motherfucker know something. How the fuck do all these people know that I'm sober? How do they know that I'm not one of them? Like, you know, like zombies and shit like that. Like you can try to, uh, and, and you know walk like them so you can blend in but it's something that they have inside them that they can tell you don't have inside you and that's really what it is man so going in those clubs night after night to you sober in this bitch these niggas started fighting over this bitch or a nigga started fighting next to you and now goddamn you happen to be the innocent bystander that get shot. Motherfucker don't know that he really was aiming at you because the demon in him is trying to kill anything positive, anything that, that shine with the light. It, it's just like, you know, the demon can see clearly. Um... And that's that shit I tell y'all about waking up in the cell, wondering what the fuck happened, how did this happen. You weren't in control. 
But um, and and you that that should, you'll understand that better when you go to sleep. Hopefully, I can get Ken to uh, animate that. Um, if I can just send this little clip, this whole clip to him, I'll get him to animate that so you can actually see what I'm talking about. But this is these are all the things that come with being in a club. And as an artist, you're in the club like we used to be in the club. Like you really in the club, nigga. Every we was in that bitch every week, every week, like three times a week we was in it. That was. Nigga, shit. See, my 20s, man, like, nigga, just clubbing stupid. So you you in the club, we was in the club once a week at least. But as an artist, man, you were, you in the club every day. Every day. And it's so much that you have to do to keep your energy up. You know, you get to the point where you hate this fucking song. You hate the song that you singing, man. But more to it. The bitch can do all, she can put the phone in your face and then now she get a lawyer and she suing you because you got a person from assaulting you. It's crazy because if you would have did that to her, she could have sued you for assault. This is, this is, this is, but it's all part of it. These are things that happen. And this is why I tell you artists, you probably need to come in and fuck with the Men Too movement. You probably need to see what the Men Too movement entail. Because you are the only motherfuckers that are going to get fucked over. Big actors, successful black men, and rappers. That's athletes. All this shit is combined in one. You probably want to fuck with the Me and Two movement so we can get it where it needs to go so that we can get shit changed. The law looks at a woman like an honorary police officer. Whatever she says, it damn near hold the weight of a fucking police officer. Uh, that's, that's what it come down to. And that's what you're going to have all on the road. Welcome to the fucking rap trap. Make sure you tune in Monday uh, about that coronavirus shit. Uh, make sure you hit the Cash App and the PayPal. Shout out to everybody who's been hitting that shit while I was down and shit like that. I appreciate that support. Uh, we not taking um, we not taking um, no. Yes, we are. We we are. Um, if you want to be a lieutenant, um, you have to be a lieutenant to call in. But I'm going to try to find a way, this on Monday, I will be taking calls on the Tobin Frost Messenger. The Tobin Frost Messenger. So that's, that's you can call in about your city with that shit. Uh, make sure you go to the Patreon um, if you want to be a lieutenant and just call straight up on, on the phone and shit like that, though. Um, I appreciate the love. i see you on a minute. Love, love. Pair.